Still take one. <laughs> <laughs> Blend podcast episode two. All right. Welcome to Blend, the second episode. Mike, how you feeling? I feel pretty good. Yeah? I feel pretty good. I mean, like, we're by a fireplace. We're outside. It's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in San Diego. It's no rain. Got some sunshine. Got well, some sunshine. Yeah. Um, what's your bright spot lately? My bright spot? Oh, man. Well, uh, you'd think I would have come prepared knowing that that question was going to come. I asked it. I've asked it to you last time. I'm going to ask you next <laughs> You're time. You're going to say it. Like, I asked <laughs> every it to you time, every time. It's only, it's it's only like we only have one other episode. Uh, I would say my bright spot would be uh, we've we've been we've done a lot of clubbing lately. Yes, too much clubbing. Too much Shout clubbing. Shout out to Bloom San Diego. We've been there a lot lately. Yeah, we've been to Bloom a lot. Yeah. Uh, we we ended up throwing an after party at my place. Yes, yeah. with like forty people wedged into a condo. Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good, good time. time. But uh, what yeah. about you? What is your bright spot? Uh, sh- Ooh. So uh, we've been doing some crate digging for the next episode of Blend, episode three. And uh, there's a track um, that you had pulled up called The Auction by Nikita the Wicked, which is just, it's so, so great. It sets such a great mood. But I went into uh, Nikita the Wicked's artist playlist, and he has one called The Hills Have Eyes that all morning, just going down the list, I was like, oh, so good. Oh, even better. Oh, like we have um, uh, a DJ playlist that we like collect songs that we want to put in for the next blend episodes. And this is probably the first time ever that I've just gone through and I grabbed every single one and threw it into the selects file because it's great. So uh, Nikita Midorsky, you have great tastes. Um, we'll throw some links and stuff down below. Shout but, out. Yeah, shout out to Nikita the Wicked, both as a producer and as a curator. Uh, so yeah, that made me really happy today. Cool. Uh, I like that. Yeah, I like finding a lot of new music. I'm I'm, I'm very excited as this uh, podcast DJ set progresses as we let the art speak for itself, and we really just. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, it's nice to. Um, we've spent a lot of time working on making these better. We learned a lot the first time. I mean. Um, there's simple things that, you know, if you don't know that you have to do them, like check the copyrights of all the songs before you put them on YouTube. It yep, leads to problems later. Episode one failure. <laughs> yes, so that will never happen again. And um, Never say never. Never say never. Never. It, it will probably not happen again. I don't have any wood near me to knock on, but if I did, I would I would knock on it real quick. Um, we have some general housekeeping. Uh, uh, there's a shout out to Janae and her dog. Um, and... Hannah Choi, we want to give her a shout out for the, the sign. HP sign. Yes, uh, we've been using it in all the content, and it's so awesome. But I don't think we've ever been like on the air thanking you for it. So obviously, we appreciate you. Shout out Hannah. Um, we've got some comments that we had to uh, address. Uh, there's R Valentine twenty nine who wanted us to talk about some production and external instruments and stuff, and. Um, I think we're just going to say now that we'll come back to that and we'll do some more dedicated content. I don't know if this like this format really lends to us talking about um, synths that we have because they're either in the other room over there or you know at Mike's house. And uh, so we got you, our Valentine. Yeah, we, we will we will get to it, and we will also get to some more of the history of Hollywood Principal and Rocket League. Uh, there's some surprises coming up in the future with that, where it'll be a great time to talk about that. But we're going to we're going to put a pin in. We're gonna that. shelf it. We're gonna shelf it for we're a little shelf bit. It. Uh, and that's all the housekeeping I had. Do you have anything we want to go over before? Uh, like, subscribe, put anything you want us to talk about in the comments. Say what you want down there. We read everything. We respond yeah. to everything. Positive, negative, or otherwise, like uh, you know, we're in for it. Yeah, and uh, and another thing too is uh, we've tried airplane. Oh, we have to pause for airplane. Do we? I mean, I don't. We don't really have to pause for the airplane because. Uh, I guess we can just edit it out later. We can edit it out, but now we can't edit that out because we talked about it. Ah, wait, it'll be fine. That might get edited out. Um, so another thing that we did that uh, is different from the last time around is we actually spent some time and we did some outreach to artists to see if we can get. Uh, more of a personal take on you know the creative process behind a song or different things about the artwork. Uh, we asked a whole bunch of people a series of questions. So uh, you know I don't have them in front of me, but essentially it was uh, tell us about the album artwork. Tell us about where uh, you wrote this song, and if you can 
catch the vibe of the song in an emoji, what would that emoji be? Uh, so thank you. Uh, actually, more people got back to us than I thought. I, it's very I was, exciting. I was very surprised. Uh, but if in the future, uh, we send you a message, respond, because we'll talk about it on air. It's yeah, going to be we're, great. We're, um, our other goal here is we're going to start putting up the Instagram handles of the artists, put them in the comments and uh, other things. We're going to find ways to elevate everyone that uh, ends up being involved in this DJ set podcast, whether or not they were expecting it. Yes. Yeah. It's been fun. There's been a, there's been a lot of already cool, cool collab stuff coming out of this. So we're, we're very excited to see where that goes. Uh, we are excited. Uh, I, I don't have anything else. I think we should shout out hit, excitement. Shout out to excitement. It's a good thing to be excited about. Oh, that's dumb. Shout out to pressing play. Oh, okay. We're there. I think we're there. We're there. So we're, so we're going to do the same format. Uh, if you uh, have a different thought on how we should do the format, please comment below and tell us your thoughts. Um, so I'm going to just be like, do the thing. Now there's the full screen. And this is the longest yeah. pressing play I've ever seen, man. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Okay, what are we starting with? Uh, shout out to Ashley, shout out to Corbin for helping us shoot this. Oh yeah. Shout out DJI for making cool drones. Yes. Corbin just flew that thing right between our head. Yes. Also, shout out to Zach Heidman who also helped us with drone photography. Yeah, um, we don't need to shout him out. No, we do. <laughs> Zach's the homie. Um, <laughs> So this first one is Dance Around Me by Van Glow. Uh, I'm pretty sure, Mike, you picked this one. It's a great uh, track. Because of the string intro. String uh, intro. Strings get me every time, for yeah. sure. Um, so Van Glow uh, got back to us and gave us a bunch of information about this track. Um, we haven't quite decided the right format to do this. I'm just going to read this. And we'll, we'll go from there. We'll go from um, there. So uh, Van Glow said, I wrote Dance Around Me to capture the euphoria and sexual tension between two strangers who meet at a club and fall for each other on the dance floor. The song takes on an atypical structure with no repeating parts except for the two drops, which, if you listen, it's all unique. It's true. Uh, and in this specific song, I really wanted to emphasize and take my time on the buildups rather than the drop. Um, the song is a constant evolution where I try to build the tension and attraction between the strangers over time until the last drop where they fully embraced each other and the sparks fly. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice backstory. I, I love when there's like a backstory like that because at, at face value, most music, um, I, I don't digest that way. Me personally. Like I'm always listening to the production, the melodies and everything. I'm not a lyricist. Like, um, shout out Alex and Isaiah we who, who do a lot of our, well, all almost, almost all of our lyrics yeah. at this point. Yeah. Um, but they put so much thought and in depth into the, that side of it. So yeah. it's, it's really cool when you hear uh, the depth of a track in that yeah. way. I, I'm, I'm the same exact way. Whenever we're, we're writing or consuming music, I, it takes probably the third or fourth listen before I start picking out cool lyrics, except with rap. Rap is obviously, I think that'll, that'll be like more prominent, but uh, yeah, great lyrics in the song as well. Yeah. Uh, there's a bunch more. I just want to give you a chance. Okay. So I'm not yeah, just no, no, no. Chatting away. Um, so, uh, first time using strings in one of those tracks is the intro and it gives a more romantic feel. I mean, the strings are fantastic. They are fantastic. I, the whole song's great, but that's why we picked, picked like, this. Because string intro. Literally, we're like, uh, our, our aesthetic being Hollywood and that kind of thing, uh, the picture of going out into this uh, beautiful canyon uh, with that string line, uh, it was just. We just had to do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, the emoji that describes the song, we actually have uh, two different options. There's a uh, dancing disco man and then heart on fire. Uh, We're going to put those both we'll up on put, the screen. We'll put them on the screen. Um, and then the artwork is hand drawn by a really talented artist in Brazil, Gibran Gomez. Shout out Gibran Gomez. Uh, drew it in reference to a picture we took where holding a lighter flame very close to my face. Um, great song. Incredible. I have easy, listened to easy. this like just outside of even putting this podcast together. Like I listen to almost every single song on this podcast like hundreds of times at this yeah. point. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Uh, but okay, so we're already getting into our next one right now, which is Everywhere by Babsy. Great interpretation. Um, interpolation. I guess it's both interpretation and interpolation yep. uh, of, jeez, uh, who is it? 
Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. I, I played the uh, DJ set for my mom. <laughs> and she's like, I love the Fleetwood Mac song. Shout, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Mike Alt's mom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great track. I, it's incredible. It's like, it's, it's such a good interpolation of it. It didn't dawn on me that it was a Fleetwood Mac song until my mom said that. Oh, really? Dead serious. It, yeah. I did not register that. Uh, yeah, Babsy, Babsy killed it with this one. Um, I think Babsy, we might have talked about this last time, but um, I'm going to go pull up Babsy's Spotify. Is that red light on? Uh, on the camera? Uh, there's a, it looks like it. Okay, good. Yes. We're a little, uh, we've had some incidences recording the DJ set <laughs> with things not recording. Uh, Babsy is an emerging small town producer from Thousand Oaks, California. Um, he finds inspiration surfing and enjoying nature. God, what great ways to find inspiration. It's um, true. Yeah. You still surf? You still uh, get out still there? surf, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Often um, getting out there. You do that in the morning and this I is do before that, we even I do talk in the morning. The day, I'm still so. probably going out twice a week. Um, and I, I do find a lot of inspiration surfing as well. I think that's one of the, the few times. Shout out ocean. Shout out to the ocean. Shout out to waves. Um, I do, like when I'm when I'm surfing, <laughs> for God. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> uh, when I'm when I'm surfing is one of the few times I'll get like a complete idea in my head. Um, a lot of other times, even other forms of physical activity, like I'll get like snippets or something like that. But there have been times where I was had to paddle in and go home because I had something burning that needed to come out. Um, Interesting. Yeah. I, I don't know that I ever have that experience. Uh, Babsy uh, cares deeply for those struggling with mental health and hopes that his listeners find peace through his music. That's really That's sweet. That's incredibly nice. Yeah. Uh, and now we're switching into uh, this Lemitri, is the yeah. time. Um, I, at least I think I'm pronouncing that right. I, don't, I, I respectfully, I don't think you are. I think it's Lamatre, but I also don't know. Fair enough. Fair uh, enough. I've been a huge fan of them forever. Um, there's like an EP. I'm gonna look up this up. The... There, I have uh, a boat playlist for music on the boat, and they show up quite a few times. Definitely a huge fan. Shout out Dimitri. Shout out Babsy. Shout out Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> <laughs> we missed a few there. Got to got to stay up on oh, the yeah. shout outs. Good, good job. Thank you for for being on top of that. Uh, but yeah, this is stuff from like the hype machine days where I was like, wow, these guys are incredible. Singularity. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's Singularity and Relativity 2 and Relativity 3. Uh, incredible. So it's so nice that, um, you know, these are people before I was even producing music personally that I was like, wow, they're killing it. And now to find this track. I mean, we played this in our, our Bloom set. And, we did. Uh, it was definitely one of the, I think, one of the highlights. Yeah. It's, uh, there's one specific moment. Uh, oh, we're doing our oh, thing. Yeah. This, we got a this, new thing. It's a, it's a new hand signal. We got a hand signal. So yeah. everyone pay attention to when we're doing this because we want you to do it back to us in our next show. <laughs> yeah. If one person did that, I would feel so so happy. One of the coolest things about the Bloom Show was uh, we played Red Lights, uh, which is what this set is built around. And there were people who I didn't know who knew the words, which is as an artist is incredible. Um, so Shout out fans. Shout out fans. Um, but... So if one person hears this and does this back, that would that would personally make my day. Whatever that's whatever the day is. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a, a picture frame, like film strip. Hollywood. Film strip. Film strip. Film strip. Uh but yeah, I think this is the part that's coming up. Mike made You're uh, already sneaking in the next track there. Yeah, I'm sneaky. Man. Hey, he's sneaky. He's <laughs> sneaky man. I'm actually too sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. At some point, it's not sneaky anymore. Yeah, at some point, I'm like, why am I teasing this next track two tracks too soon? What am I doing? I do a fair amount of that, too. Uh, this part. Yeah. Don't know what to do with our hands. Uh, honestly, it felt good at the Bloom set. People people were vibing to it, so. It's such a good moment. Yeah, it Shout really out is. Lemitri a second time for that moment in that tune. Lemaitre. Uh, is extraordinarily well done. Yeah, we really, we really need to understand how to say their name <laughs> in the future. Uh, if you happen to watch this, please send us a voice note. Yeah, uh, <laughs> or, respectfully. <laughs> uh, oh, and here's Ashley with her cool Dawn pens. Yep. 
I apologize that we were unable to figure out how to get an angle directly over the decks. When well, I watch DJ sets, I really like that. It's just really hard in this specific setting to figure that one out. Yeah, there, there wasn't really a good place to put it. There's a, a tarp over us. It's like a sunshade and you can't really attach anything to it. But um, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, on to the next one. This one is from Science. Science is awesome. We've been chatting a lot with them yep. lately. Um, they were nice enough to send us a mashup of this one and Escape. The John Summon Hala sings to, or is that KX5? I can't remember. Yeah, no, no, no. It's um, it's KX5 and uh, this song. That it's a mashup. We played it at Bloom. Yeah. It definitely hits really well. Yeah. It feels great. Um, this specific version, we actually played the the clean non vocal because uh, we mix in the subsequent track. But uh, shout out Science. Shout out Science. Also very interesting because. Uh, Oh, we yeah. both seem to name songs. <laughs> oh, this is actually the really same funny. Way. Okay, so uh, we had a song called "Runaway." Science has a song called "Runaway." Yes, we have. A, we beat them to that one, and then they beat us to the next one. Well, who's to say who beat who? Because you know they could have been sitting true, on that song true, for six months. Very true. Um, but also Pluko, who we played uh, with the Diamond Pistols, the song they did last time. They just released a song called "Runaway," which is great. Shout out Pluko again. Uh, but uh, there's a couple. We were just joking what's the, that I what's think... What's the next one? You sent me... Uh, uh, there's They just wrote a song radar. like, Take Me to the Stars, and we just wrote a song called Take Me Away. Yes. It's so. coming out, and there's there's a lot of these are like, wow, we we're really on the same wavelength. So shout out, guys. Your music is fantastic. but It is really, really fantastic. Yeah. Get out of our heads. Stop naming the songs the same. <laughs> or maybe we get out of your heads. Oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a great song. a lot of dead air <laughs> it's fine we're just grooving we're just yeah. grooving I, i'm just really excited because like now we tease in fritz yes fritz um fritz has been great fritz has been great he uh, actually sent us the high-res master because we reached out we couldn't find a way to download the track um we lifted the vocal and we like it fit perfectly within the synth so it's like a call response, but like there's two tracks in this mix right now. Yeah, it fits really well. And especially because this is not, um, uh, again, like for us, we, we really like your music. Well, this is not something typical we put into a set, you know, but we really, we really like the song. Um, so we we're like, we got to figure out so a way to get it in out, there. Figure out a way to do it. Um, uh, did find him because of his viral bicycle video. Yes. Uh, Fritz also got back to us too on Instagram. Yes. So what did he, he gave say? us a bunch of stuff. Uh, uh, he actually wants you to talk about the bicycle video. So, okay, yeah, well there uh, you go. Yeah, That's go, how we found you, Fritz. Yes, uh, the the Instagram account. I think it's Fritz, 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 or maybe we'll put it on times. the screen. We'll put it on the screen. Right. Uh, but um, there's is. a really cool video where he's uh, yeah, great track. But uh, he's in a bicycle. Uh, it's like a utility bicycle that I think is more common outside of the United States. And uh, so he's sitting in the front and he's just running at the bicycle. Or, or just looks like he's running as somebody bikes. Yeah, we'll the put other a snippet direction. of the video up on the screen too. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's let's do it after I try to describe it. And see okay. if anybody <laughs> got that at all? Put a mental uh, picture in your head, people, yes, and then I'm going to put it go. up on the screen. And you're going to tell us if it. Uh, yeah, but should, it, you know, should it, I put it up there now? Now is probably a good okay. Time. Right yeah. now, uh, but it went viral. It got 37 million views. Which, you know, congratulations. That's awesome. Um, then the artwork is a frame grab of that. Um, oh, and, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool artwork too. So um, he did it before the bicycle scene before it came out. He's got a lot of really cool visual content. Yes. Um, yeah. We talk about your visual content a lot, actually. Yeah. Um, the message of the song is: Over the last years, I produced a lot of music for other artists, and with this song, I started to make my own songs and finally sing with my own voice. Before, I only made the instrumentals, and now I make everything by myself. And the hook says something like: From now on, I only do that I like. Which is cool. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Also, there's one more thing. I, I can't remember what that guy said. Um, uh, that I asked you what this meant. It was a comment in German. Uh, Come into the game relaxed. Somebody wrote on one of our uh, our reels that I've been trying to figure out what that means, but it sounds really cool. So <laughs> shout out to the guy who wrote that. <laughs> yeah. I, if, if anyone knows what that means, let us know. Yeah, just come into the game relaxed. You know? <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're, we're already starting to get into the next song. This one is Sunflower by Harry Hayes. He's 
is a very nice song. It uh, is. It is really nice. Like it's got like a, a very airy quality to it. That is. Uh, um, I don't know. It's like a car driving song, like sunset convertible car. Yes, absolutely. Uh, like a sunset drive. Um, I can't find this guy. Where is he? Harry Hayes? Did I spell it wrong? In the sun? Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, so let's look up some stuff about I really love Harry that Hayes. the chord structure here is very bouncy. Yes. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, just the way that the, the filter cutoff opens on that synth as it comes in, it's it's really great. It's really, really well crafted. Also, the vocal sample that sits like right up there. Oh, yeah. Um, it's actually, when, when you're mixing it, it's kind of tough. I feel like I'm cutting so much of the mids of that song because it just cuts through so well. Um, but yes, uh, Harry Hayes works with pop, inspired melodies, ambient soundscapes, and dynamic club elements. Uh, the productions push you not only to dance, but prompt an introspective sense of bliss i can i can agree with that i I think like when you know it first came on and i was saying it kind of reminds me of like a sun like sunset drive type situation that's kind of like the introspective like positive quality that you would expect to listen to that are some really aggressive i'm gonna bleep that don't worry (laughs) shit I'm not going to bleep that one. Oh, man. <laughs> you can't do that. You control the edit. That's not cool. Uh, big shout out to Mike because he edited all the stuff. Actually, so uh, a lot of the reason why I think this episode is uh, much better than the first episode other than, um, you know, practice and, you know, just forethought is that Mike spent a lot of time and energy doing like the edit on these. So again, shout out. Good, Thank good you. job, man. These are Shout out really Elliot for crushing it. Comes up with 95% of our music ideas. So... It's a team effort. Uh, I I would push back against ninety five percent, but hey, we're gonna go you know. with ninety five. All right, that's fine. Uh, wow, Zach just texted me right now. Um, German song and the mixes around it were fire. Love the cheeky turntable spin. Got geese bumps. I don't know what a geese bump is. Yeah, Zach, if you're watching this, what are what are geese bumps? I know they're goose bumps, below. but <laughs> yeah, we're but, really pushing for the comments yeah. this time. Shout out Zach. Yeah, shout out, shout different out Zach. Different Zach. We're shouting out a different Zach this time. Which Zach? There's there's a there's two Zachs involved. Well, we already shouted out drone pilot Zach. That's true. Uh, okay, so we're switching now into the next one, which is great. Uh, I also this guy is Peace Bringer. Goodbyes. This is one of my favorite tracks on this. It's tough to say because I, I love I love all of them, yeah. but I really really like this one as well. Uh, we do have this as a playlist on Spotify too. So if you just want to go listen to the songs just straight up, like that is a thing. Uh, I listen to it a lot because uh, it's it's like some really good art by uh, a bunch of very talented producers. So I also like the switch up here because we've been very bright for a while yeah, and it, like it brings it down. Dark, it's a little darker, a little more clubby. Uh, I also love um, teasing the next track. Actually, are you teasing two tracks ahead? Yeah, I'm way at this point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I I don't know quite what to call this sub-genre but anything that's like uh very clubby but has um it, it's very sharp attack synths with a very slow decay where it's it there's some other examples that we have pulled up in the past but i, I just love there's there's whole subgenre of this it's it's interesting because like it's now that we're having to play like a lot more club sets yeah um I, I couldn't see a lot of like a lot what we more. <laughs> from zero to like three, but <laughs> I mean that's like three hundred percent. That is a lot more. Now that we're running the club circuit, yeah, now we're like, running the clubs. <laughs> oh my god! Let me tell you about the time I played space in Miami. Yeah, someday, man. Someday. I didn't. Um, um, but no, like it, it's it. Finding that balance of something that's clubby enough, but like fits the theme and the vibe that we're yeah. going for, uh, is has been an interesting, interesting uh, blend. Yes, if you will. Oh, he said the name of the podcast. <laughs> oh, he did it. Intentional uh, or not? Uh, okay, so uh, I, since we're coming out of this, uh, Peacebringer also responded to us and gave us a bunch of interesting okay, information. Cool. Thank you, Peacebringer. Um, Peacebringer says, since my aesthetic style for my act is cyberpunk, I use AI tools to help make the artwork for my tracks. I got some help with this, so not entirely sure exactly what software is being used, but it was made by 
AI is what I know, a little peace sign. Um, and the emoji that he thinks catches the vibe is, um, it's like the smiley face with the eyebrows up. Like, I think surprise. it means like surprised or maybe cute. I don't know. I'll put it up on the it's, screen. It's up on the screen. Comment below what you think it is. Uh, but he's a... <laughs> you keep saying that. Keep commenting. Uh, <laughs> he's a Swedish pop, a Swedish producer. He's working on a lot of different projects the last 10 years. This is his latest and most ambitious project. So I make music that I love personally with total creative freedom. I uh, mix Swedish house and French electro. So maybe that's the subgenre that I'm looking for. But anyway, uh, Peacebringer, we're, we're following. Keep up the good work. Uh, shout out Peacebringer. Shout out Peacebringer. His name is Wichter. Shout out Wichter. Uh, okay, on to the next. This one's Rami. Well, we might as well shout out Rami already. Shout out right Rami. Here. Yeah. Shout out Rami. Uh, so this one, I think, has been kicking around our playlist for a little bit. I think Finding we found the, the right spot to put it in has been... Uh, we we, we, we want to play it all the time, but like th- like it just fits so well in this specific set. is like, this is yeah. the time to bust it out. Um, I think this one came from uh, there's uh, this guy Steve Cardigan. He he does a music uh, a music club out of L.A. that I think I joined maybe six to nine months ago. What, it, what's his name again? Steve Cardigan. Shout, Shout out, out Steve, Steve Cardigan. Cardigan. There you go. Uh, but yeah, it's, I think it's <laughs> called Put You On. Uh, it's very cool. I highly recommend you guys join the music group because they send out a curated weekly playlist we'll put every a link Friday. Below. We'll put a link below. Um, but it's it's always full of good stuff and it's a great. It's probably the best mix I've seen of like just happenings in the uh, in the scene of like oh here's an artist that you should care about who should put stuff stuff out as well as unknown artists. Uh, I think it's kind of what we aspire to have this be where you can actually yeah. come and get some things. He's already doing a great job, uh, you know, running around interviewing Bunt and stuff like that when he was doing like releasing clouds and stuff. So that he's doing a great job out there. We'll put the link up there. Check that one out. Uh, also, if you have questions that you would like us to ask the artists that we spin, uh, put them below as well. Like we'll yeah. we'll definitely like expand the list and ask other things. That's true. I mean, I love Elliot's question about asking how to describe the song with an emoji. Catch catch the vibe. Catch the vibe with an emoji. I definitely laughed out loud a little bit. I was like, catch the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Here we but go. It, yeah. Okay. So now we're into the vibe. Speaking of catching the vibe. Um, hey, look at that. Yeah. Uh, Third Man, Life. We're crushing it. Let's hope it's recording. Yeah. Ke- uh, shout out Third Life with an exclamation point and Stowe Culture. Um, this is another great, great track. Um, and, and Rami, I'm sorry we didn't really get. We kind of babbled about Steve Gardigan for a little bit. Uh, Rami's awesome. Go listen to Rami. Now we're going to talk about uh, Third Third Life. With an exclamation point. Yes. Oh, I put the exclamation point in the wrong spot. Oh, there's only one. There's no there's no eyes in this. Uh, okay, so uh, Third Life is from South London. His name is Jake Tench. He's one of the freshest DJ producers to break out through the scene in recent years. Um, he... So wait, he, he's, he's UK? South London. South London. Yeah. It's you know it's kind of got that uh, that London vibe to it. I've been listening to like a lot of UK garage yeah. and stuff lately. Uh, it's, cool. that, it, it's it there's there's something about it. It's very bouncy. Yeah. Speaking of like uh, like sneaky, that's something where if you asked me what my favorite genre it was, I would not say UKG. But I, if you check my playlist, it definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of times, like oh man, like I've been listening to this all day. <laughs> Yeah, that's the first time I managed to kick that over. That's pretty good. That's no, good. Been, I'll just edit like the sound minutes. out, or we'll leave it in because I would funny. leave it in. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, on Ministry of Sound, and you know he's spun with a lot of. He's collaborated with like Alok and Rehab and Moti. Uh, really? Yeah. Wow. How did we he find collaborated this song? With Mario, like R and B Mario. I can see, I mean, like he's got a lot of influences on this track. It's yeah. it's very very clear. Um, and he's, he did a remix for London Grammar, which is uh, is one of the reasons why we picked our name. Because at the time, we really liked London Grammar. And it's a coding thing, which I know you're going to roast me for. Wait, London Grammar is a coding thing? No, no, no. Hollywood Principle Oh, yeah. Is a Hollywood thing. Principle is a coding thing. We're nerds. <laughs> Elliot refuses to admit it. I am openly I a nerd. I, I, I oh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Thank you, Third Life. And... 
Crypto Culture, but now we're going on to Villager. This is a yes, great track. Yes, the next track few there. songs, the way they came together in the mix, I am so stoked on. It's such a cool little vibe, flip, vibe shift. Because like we definitely, like it's, I don't even know how to describe this. It's eerie. It makes it eerie suddenly. Um, I found this track. You found this track. It's great. I actually fought you on putting this in there because it's... I it's just a hard did, pivot. It's a hard pivot. I didn't think we could make it work. Uh, Especially going into the, the following track. Uh, we, yeah. we do do a lot of work on edits of songs um, to change the arrangement in order for it to work in a DJ set. Um, we actually didn't used to do that. Uh, shout out DLMT because one day he came out and was spinning with us and he's like, oh yeah, I edit almost everything I play. Yeah. And uh, we do that now. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I mean, it, these are literally all... All edits. All edits, which, I mean, if, if you're a DJ, maybe you roll your eyes when you hear that, but like, we're pretty new at this. We're, we're getting <laughs> we're up to speed fast. I mean, uh, some of the edits are just like extending an intro yeah, or yeah. just like removing like an additional drop that, you know, we know we can't fit into a set. Yeah. Uh, this this one's a pretty extensive edit to get this song to work into the set the right yeah, way. But also great shout out builder. Let's go pull up some information because I think we're in and out of this one pretty fast. Oh uh, yeah, he's got a. I actually remember looking this up earlier. Uh, I like his bio a lot. It just says, "I'd rather be a vessel." Fifteen times in all caps. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, and he also has extremely cool pictures. What does that mean? Um, I think he has a track called Vessel on the Sculptor EP, which is great. I also listened to that. Um, Yes, track four, Sculptor. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, but this is this is an interesting pivot over here, going back between these two tracks, which I... It goes from very eerie to very positive. Yes, uh, and now we're into... You... Silk, on my mind. Yes. Yeah, we're in and out of that pretty fast. Like, the, that song is... Uh, go check it out. It, there's a lot of parts to that song. Um, obviously, to get him to work in the set, we had to remove a, a lot, but we just really liked the the character it provided. Yes. Shout out, Villager. Great Shout time. out, Villager. Uh, and now we're to Silk. Shout out, Silk. Shout out, Silk. Are we trying to go for shout out high scores? Oh, yeah. Shout out That's high score. That's why I put the Oprah thing in the corner. Got it. Okay, perfect. Shout out, Oprah. <laughs> well, I guess I think just this time... Um, I, I, I had shout outs on the mind on episode one. And oh yeah, you were now, shouting out everything episode one. I think I'm shouting out much more this Shout time. out spinbacks. Um, Ooh, there we go. Yeah, see? I'm uh, back now up, you're back shouting it out. Shout out fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's really helpful. So um, the, it rained yesterday briefly. And so the Elliot's butt is wet. My, my butt is a little wet. It's actually I'm, I've like doubled up on the towels to make sure that I don't like get super wet on this. But shout out fire because this is very helpful right now. <laughs> um, it's not as warm as it looks. It's not as warm it's as it looks. It's a little cool, chilly today. Uh, uh, the on. fire is helping a lot. I'm doing such a bad job of keeping track with this silk uh, on my mind. Uh, this is silk featuring Jim, which strong artist name Jim <laughs> you're not it. wrong I mean that's I love it. awesome yeah uh, so we're right cutting to the next song uh, Silk is crushing it uh, he began playing in multiple bands uh, he's a Watford based artist I don't know where Watford is um, this is this would be bass music I'm sorry bass music like well, you said he's a bass artist Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I misspoke. Uh, he began his musical journey as a kid playing various instruments in bands. Oh, so he's playing bass guitar. I don't think I said bass. Did I say bass? <laughs> I think he just made that up. I don't know. We're, I guess it's all recorded, so yes, we're going to know yeah. soon enough. Um, but yes, uh, he's he's great and he's doing a fantastic. He's doing numbers on Spotify, so keep up a good pace. Also, cool pictures. There's a lot of him in like the subway or just crushing a show. Um, Nice. We'll throw them up on the screen. Throw them up on the screen. Uh, and now we're on to the next song, which this is... Um, really good transition, too. It's nice and long, yeah. slow, like slowly taking out. So I think this Where one... Where the set gets really deep. It gets a little deep. I think this one came from uh, like a Dylan Francis artist playlist. Like this mixtape is Fire 2 or something. And um, I, I, 
I'm pretty sure this is my choice, but I remember the first time being like, yeah, this is really good. And it really, really stuck with me. I think it's just the the vocals and the way it's worked to the second one. Oh, okay. So one of my favorite here things we here. go. Shout uh, out Dove Echo. Shout out, shout out to Dove Echo. Uh, we saw Moshak <laughs> at uh, Space in Miami like a couple weeks ago, and man, that guy was just Dove Echoing everything, and it was. He's awesome. playing a five hour set with yeah. Tech House. Like he's making it like more. He's also playing a lot with the volume. Yeah, I, okay. He's doing a lot of That's things. That's fine. But, uh, Ellie's Mike, just Mike, throwing dub echo left and right now. Well, now I'm just straight up trolling you because you get really upset when I do it. And now it's, it's, it's like it's an, an off button. time echo. <laughs> and you like, there's literally a part earlier in the set. I know. Where it's a clock sound. <laughs> and Elliot drops, du- you can see my face in there yeah, too. Yeah, no, like, it's, it's working. Right? Um, he makes the clock off time for no reason whatsoever. I know. There was a good reason, That's, and it was to piss you off. Uh, <laughs> it's not a good DJ tactic. <laughs> I don't like this tactic. Uh, well, you know, don't get pissed off by it. <laughs> I mean, I guess, what do you mean? Just going dub echo crazy. Uh, well, uh, you saw Erich the other day. Erich uses a lot of dub echo. Shout yeah, out to Erich. He's an awesome shout DJ. Shout out Erich. Yes. DJ uh, he's also spinning vinyl and he's transitioning like in off time to off time. So like it's, he's using it for a reason. Like it I'm, fits. I'm using it for a reason. Uh, to piss me off. Yes. That reason fits. <laughs> 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 That's perfect. <laughs> I love these wide shots with the drone. Yeah. We need more drone work. Uh, if you have location ideas that we should be doing blend sets in, uh, let us know in the comments. Yeah, we have about, I think, two more planned out. Two more planned. And then... They, they are scaling up in in uh, epicness, I feel like. Hypothetically. The, hypothetically. hypothetically. If, the, if, if they work out as we plan, yes. um, they should increase in, in over the top. We'll see. And we're going to change the color of the logo every time. Yes, and the logo is going to match the artwork. Look at all this planning ahead. Yeah, we're planning oh, stuff. planning stuff. It's the uh, Hollywood principle. Just, is go that, don't, Just go with it. It's the Hollywood Just principle. Go, yeah, there you go. Actually, we changed our bio. I forgot. I wanted to talk about this from last time. Well, wait, hold on. We're not in this song for much longer. Do we have anything? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I can look up Nico the Kid. I guess we are going to be playing another Nico the Kid track, aren't we? Oh, no, no, that's no, Nikita that's, the Wicked. That's yeah. Nikita the Wicked. Uh, Nico the Kid is a DJ music producer known for super tight, hard hitting house productions. I would agree. I would agree. Uh, based in Atlanta, LA, and Vegas. That's a lot of home bases. Uh, making records for the underground. My face here. Yeah. I, I just love the, the second <laughs> second bounce through this. Um, second bounce. Yeah, second, uh, second drop. Uh, don't you can just there you go okay you sense of that uh, I mean he's got released on everything tool room we went to a really fun tool room party in Miami um, so shout out tool room I mean he's on UMG he's on he's on everything this guy's is killing it and I and I love the song it's really good it's definitely very very good okay so um, now we're switching into um, I mean just a certified banger cutting loose the disco lines J uh, and all England probably the most well-known track in the set I I, I don't even know anymore like I, I mean can't, it's, it's, I can't judge the popularity of things that's, is it that's fair well uh I don't know like I I feel like I've heard this one uh before we were like deep diving yeah it's at like two million plays since January it's deserved it's great it's it is a great track yeah. This is another one we played at the Bloom Show. Yes. Also, I love to see Jay Wara killing it. She's doing awesome. Yeah, she's great. And Annabelle England, too. We got to play more of her stuff. It Down. is fantastic. Cool. Don't right. have to tell me twice. Okay, so. What'd you say? We should play more of Annabelle England stuff. <laughs> he told me twice. There you go. Shout uh, out being told things okay. twice. So, last time, uh, as we were trying to figure out, you know, what we can do to talk about artists while we spin their tracks, uh, we settled on the Spotify bios. But remember, we discovered that many of the artists had extremely cryptic things, and Lewis the Child even specifically called out. Uh, we had this whole long bio, but nobody wants to read all that. Nope. Like, okay. So uh, we changed our bio. I think we. I think it might be a little too long now. It's too long. 
No, it says... If Jeb, we stole your emoji thing. Yes, Jeb, we stole it. <laughs> we uh, it's stole been working it. really well. Thank you for that. Shout out, Jeb. Jeb, if you remember from episode one, he had the like, yeah. you know, send me uh, a pineapple, a pineapple, yeah. and what would he? He would send the grinny face back. I think it was a spooky face. Spooky face, yeah. yeah. So now we've got a DM us a telephone, and we'll send you back a hang loose eagle siren wave, which is really annoying because we haven't automated this. It's just one of us sending it back, <laughs> and. It, people could so Elliot it. couldn't just pick one emoji. He had well, to pick four. Well, it, it validates the assumption one that hey, anybody reads this at all because uh, I, yeah, we've actually had people we actually send had us people that. Send that. Like, wow. So shout out to every person who sent us that. Shout out, shout 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 out. Uh, <laughs> but also, it's annoying because I don't have that saved anywhere on my phone, so I have to go back into Spotify and copy it each time to send it back to people instead of setting up like an automation or something. Um, but yeah, uh, so we the bio says just set up an automation. Uh, there's no, we shouldn't. Yeah, I want to talk We're to people. We're talking to the people. Real human interaction, people. Okay, so if here's what the bio says: If you're really clever, you just get it done. Don't overthink it. That's Hollywood principle. So call us; we'll call you. Which is very cryptic, I would say. <laughs> and then it's the emoji thing. Then it's the emoji thing. Is that, is that it? That's the whole bio? That's the whole bio. I don't know why he said it's too long. Oh, no, no, it's not. I think just the emoji thing is too long. I think that's what I'm focusing oh, on. Oh, no, the emoji thing is the, is the perfect length, in my humble opinion. Uh, usually when we're breaking down like social media stuff, like Mike is posting a lot of the actual content, and I'm doing a lot of the messaging and comments work. Uh, we're a we team. Ever, we split the we're work. We're a team. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I'll, just throw, I'll put the, get the back, thing on get the... Back up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think we ever talked about that. I think it just kind of worked out that way, which is great. Um, many, but, many a time of trial and error. Yeah. But uh, it has been... Um, this is where you get really distracted by the drone, by the way. Oh, is this where you're talking about where I'm like gawking at the thing? Oh, uh, no. Wait, maybe it's right after this. I love this transition, though. We pro- like, I want to get one of those RMX uh, controllers. Oh, that's so it. bad. Because like, imagine this transition, yeah. which is like more like we let the drums go out. We let the vocal go out. Um, and it brings the next track in in a, in a fun way, but like, that, we could just play with it more. Yeah, there's that clap thing. Uh, I mean, I want all the toys. I, I more really toys. Um, more toys. I think the most excited I've got for a show ever was for the 3 a.m. set we did last year at Same Same. We're like, oh, oh there's going to be all a, the toys. No, there's going to be an RMX 1000 there. I was like, oh, I've never used one of these. And, um, yeah. Yeah, pretty sweet. Bunt. And Ellie Dune? Is that Man. how you say? Uh, Dewey? Dewey? Dewey, yeah, I think it's come up before. I can't remember what. I can't remember why, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so this is Bunt. Um, Bunt has been killing. Actually, I was. I the- love his social media. He's he's just got like such a positive vibe to yeah, him. Yeah, uh, but I was, I was looking this up yesterday for, for some reason. Um, and his story is crazy. Like, I think he put out Clouds in like 2023, which is his big song, and it had like blown up already on TikTok. So he did like half a million streams on day one. Wow. So he rented out a yeah uh, a gas station to do a show, and like 5,000 people oh, showed hold up. Hold on, we got to stop there because Elliot decided to try to use an effect that he's never used before and just completely cuts out the audio. Hey, you got to live dangerously, okay? <laughs> Actually, Zach, who I was texting with before, also just texted me. He was like, oh, I love the face you made when you actually cut out all the audio. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. There's the, there's a face for you. Um, anyway, okay, back to Bun. Yes, I've seen yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of that content of him like spinning, and like he just looks like he puts on such a great show. Yeah, I know. He, there's some stuff of him in like Germany. I think he's in Munich right now, uh, but it's fantastic. I no, I no, I lost my mind. There's Ashley again. Yeah. What's Shout up, out Ash? Ashley. Shout out Ash. Oh, there's Corbin in the front. Wow, you're really excited about this song right there. I here. am. So Ashley actually uh, offered us what I thought was uh, really, really sweet and definitely insulting. Of like, I will help you with your jump coordination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we uh, our rhythm does not align. Oh, okay, cool. Now we're on to. Uh, also, yeah, shout out Bunch, shout out Ellie Dewey. Uh, that's a great track. The, the whole album that's on is really, really good. But uh, Rari. Yeah. 
Rari, DJ Blick, and DJ uh, uh, Polkometal. Polkometal. I'm sorry, guys. I We love your music. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce yes. that. Uh, but uh, we reached out to DJ Blick, and he got back to us a whole bunch of details. Yeah. Do you, do you want to talk or should I launch into this diatribe? Uh, no, no, launch into the diatribe. Like I actually haven't read what they what they sent yes, you yet. Yes. So I I am a captive audience as well because I love this track. Yes, it's fantastic. I listen to this track all the time. It's, uh, it it's just a it yeah, it's got like a throwback vibe to it, but yeah. it feels very modern. Like it's just really cool. It's very confident in its identity too. I yeah, really, I really like that. Um, okay, so DJ Blick says um, he, he wrote a bunch of stuff. Uh, and I, I've kind of grabbed the stuff that was more about the track, um, but they have a bunch of new music coming out. We're very excited for it. Check it yeah. out. Stuff we'll send. A, we'll make sure we put their socials up on the screen so yeah. you can check them out. Uh, I always feel like I'm doing way too many effects on this song, especially later. Toward, I, I have a bad habit of like towards the end of sets, just being like, I got to do more stuff. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, but okay, so as Ferrari, it was a first track we did together with DJ Polk Metal, the beginning of the collaboration. They bounced some ideas off each other several times via email until they finally met the studio to give it a final shape. We really like the emotion contained in this track, a combination of the broken beat world with rap samples. Our goal is to awaken the rave culture in Poland together with other emerging artists such as Gamela, Edvin, Francis Scanner Club, and others. Shout out Gamela, Edvin, Francis Scanner Club, DJ Blick, DJ Polk Metal, and Poland. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, the art is a combination of found footage processed by AI in the style of 8-bit games and then Learn into After Effects to get it the effect of old Nokia screens, cool album artwork. Uh, all the releases have a similar look. Um, they've got some Ecstasy and House Nation tracks, um, and they've been really, they've been really cool to work with because they've posted up this clip already oh, yeah. and uh, been messaging so much. So like, it's i uh, I'm gonna make the camera brighter. Okay. We only have two two tracks left. How, does it was it totally trash and usable? Oh yeah, no, no, it's it's fine. But if it goes much longer, it would not be usable. Okay, uh, we're doing this ourselves here, people. Yes. So, like, if you're looking to know who the cast and crew is, they're all the same person. It's just us. <laughs> uh, well, so this was the first time that we brought people in to help, and it it uh, it, yeah, it helps true. a lot. Like this yeah. angle right here is super cool, super slick. This angle also cool. Both those cameras are not us, but like all the static stuff is uh, yeah. like this podcast. We're going to be doing just ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have any more from DJ Blick? Uh, he didn't directly answer um, what the emoji is, but he did put a strawberry at the end. So <laughs> I, we're gonna go with strawberry. <laughs> we're gonna go with strawberry, <laughs> <laughs> which uh, is cool. Uh, okay, and now we're on to uh, this is a track you pick, which is such a banger. Uh, it's Fate by Pepe. Um, they also got back to us and gave us a bunch of details. Cool. Yeah. Uh, this one was, I uh, actually, I'm really stoked. Of, like, I love this in the background over there. <laughs> oh, well, now me look at the drone. But um, so their Instagram, it took me a while to figure this out because um, there's OSID Records and there's Pepe. And um, I messaged, I think, the wrong account, but they were very helpful and got me to the right account, which is oh, cool. Oh, cool. Because uh, the Instagram account linked on Spotify was different. So, Shout out to OSID Records also for being super helpful and not just ignoring me. Um, so uh, what they said about this track, uh, so the track was made on a train journey back from a gig. Got the vocal through and just got really into the mix. By the time I got back to London, it was just almost fully done. Uh, when I was released, nothing much happened, but then months later, Spotify added it to like five playlists like Fresh Finds and Fresh Finds Dance, and it really just took off. Uh, the artwork is something that came up quickly. He's, uh, he's a designer. Uh, he does all of the Pepe project himself. He mixes, masters it, all the visuals, all the graphics. Uh, not one penny spent on anything other than that. No PR, my own label. Okay, so Osid Records. Okay, that makes Pepe. sense. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, still, shout out Osid Records. Yeah, shout <laughs> I mean, hey, you're running your own label. That's yeah, sick. Yeah, exactly, man. Um, but it's a great, great track. Um, I just it's love another it's one where the synth sound design is just freaking yeah. Popping. But that, this is what I was talking about before. It's like the very fast attack where it like also has that high kind of square wave feeling in the top or something. Or yeah, it's very very cool. Uh, the emoji he picked is television. Uh, that makes sense. The album yeah. artwork has a television. Yeah, that tracks. Yeah, synergy. 
it's a synergistic synergistic pick indeed <laughs> um, I, I i this i think i found this on uh fresh fresh finds dance music playlist oh well there you go that's where spotify put it according to him oh wow uh where did you find this next song mike oh <laughs> <laughs> well this next song can be found on many a playlist uh most notably the hp discography yeah the, the complete complete discography uh, this song has a journey that, are you thinking of Red, runaway or are you thinking no of- red lights this has a journey uh, well this, this is originally what's the journey oh because it, well because markets yeah market yeah. this was a markets tune um and they never ended up releasing the song and Isaiah is our lyricist for Hollywood Principal, and he sent it over to us. He's like, are you guys interested in doing something with this? Uh, he sent it to us as we were going into a writer's weekend. If you go on our social media, you can see some like videos from our writer's, writer's Block 2023. Writer's Block 2023. Um, and we wrote the the song, the production. Uh, this. See, this is the jump corner that we need. Yeah. <laughs> it got better. It got better. <laughs> we, Sorry. We, we wrote the the actual track in like an hour or two like it came together real fast yeah um and yeah you know here it is yeah um, out the the original uh, probably our fastest turnaround of a song so far yes um well, less that, than four months that reminds me uh somebody asked uh last time you know i moved that note into something else uh i, I apologize i lost the person who asked for this but there was a request to do all of the old versions of runaway from start to finish because that one when, when you said journey i was thinking of that where like it was literally five different songs yeah that was we, also many many versions yes uh which i i would say is how you you should try to avoid making music <laughs> <laughs> it's you, not fun it's not fun uh what is fun is when you say hey what do you think of this and then you work on something and it's done in an hour that's also i find the good ones they always work that way yes labors of love our next release is actually very similar timetable as well. Yeah, that one was also from Writer's Block, right? Yep. Yeah. It was a good weekend. Yeah. Red lights. Red you can you lights, can tell it's a Hollywood red principal lights, track though lights. because it has like some section with either strings or over the top drum work. Like drums. You got me running through these red lights. I do like big orchestral sounding drums. It's my my film ish background so also uh, something else i want to call out for this um part probably the thing that we're getting better at the most quickly is actually recording things so this was our second take of this dj set because we did the first one and (laughs) right about at this point we realized that we forgot to actually take the audio from the mixer yes so we had so we we had a bunch of cameras yeah with no uh the the second set so like (laughs) this yeah um we don't use a ton of the 360 camera and there's a whole story behind that yeah uh we're you know we're we're getting better uh, and this I, is also we're discussing here uh, how we're gonna end the set. I, I'm trying to push us to do some bold like looping and slow down stuff, but after this is you know two hours of filming now, and we're uh, like, I, I, my, I'm I'm right here just basically going absolutely not. Let's just get out of the set and not screw it bold, up. Be bold. Be uh, bold. We ended up kind of you know works. nice it'll work it'll work it'll do yeah that'll do pig honestly need to practice more echoing out that's good yeah see see how excited we are yeah we actually made it through the entire set uh our goal next time is to not not record shout out not not shout out not not um that's anything yeah there we go There's there's a crew but yeah, so I, I mean, I think I think this is this is the one we did this in one take, which is good. Yeah, yeah so it's one take podcast. Okay, other feedback. This one is from Mike Alt uh, that we should not dilly dally when this set is over. Yes. So we have uh, just a couple things to talk about, and then we're gonna gonna cut out of here. You were gonna cut out of here. Uh, so first thing, uh, you know, thank you to everybody who came out for the Bloom show last month. Uh, 
we opened for Lazewa and Distant Matter, and it was it was shout a great out Lazewa, shout, 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 shout out Distant Matter, shout out, shout out, Distant Matter just shout dropped out. a new track. It's yes, it's great. really good. Yes, uh, what's the name of that one? We just put it in the blend three, right? Shh. Uh, keep you. Oh, may, maybe. <laughs> you uh, can't drop the track listing for the next. D- well, I guess you can. Yeah, we 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 don't know. There's, there's IDs, all kinds IDs, of IDs, 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 IDs. Uh, so, and then we have a show May 10th with What's So Not. Uh, yep. It's going to be great. And Villa Sounds. And Villa Sounds, yeah. yes. Uh, I'm really excited for that one. Villa also just dropped a, a new track too. I think it's called Sync. That's really quite good. Um, uh, we'll be sure to have the ticket link for the next show in the, yes, in the, in the description. description below. So you come out, say hi, do this thing with us. Send us a phone on Instagram. Send us a phone on Instagram, and uh, that's it. And clack the thing. Clack. We don't clack the thing. Clack the, the thing end. on the way we out. Don't, I don't know how it okay. works. <laughs> I mean, we don't really need to do that. That's <laughs> all right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>